We just got access to a special document by the Space Force telling us about their upcoming uniform changes. And some of the stuff is actually particularly interesting, like where your neck tattoo can be placed. Because I don't know about you, but the idea that my neck tattoo isn't contrary to military standards is really important. You know, if I were to be a, what do they call them? A guardian. That's right. A guardian of the galaxy. Yeah, they're not joking. See, I was wondering, you know, if I was going to sign up to be a guardian, where should I get that neck tattoo printed? Like, does a cab fit better on the throat or on the side? It's on the side. They said so. It's in their document. So now you know. But more importantly, will it match my nail polish? Because they have special guidelines just for that too. And will the nail polish work correctly with the lipstick? These are very important considerations that all go together to form, what do we call it? military readiness. I think that's, is, is that right? Is that right? I, I'm not sure. And I don't think anybody is sure at this point. But these are all important considerations while our president wants to start a war with Russia. And I'd wonder if the nail polish regulations were female only, but it is Pride Month, so don't be a bigot. Right? My favorite sentence out of this entire document, and it's, it's real, I'm not making this up, it says, and I quote, Lipstick will complement the uniform." Unquote. Yes, because they went where no man has gone before. But don't worry, Airman. You're not immune from any of this either over there in the Air Force. LGBTQ Pride Month's mentoring panel has been rescheduled for June 21st because they had technical difficulties on the 8th. Too many diversity hires, I might assume, or gay people, I don't know. Who knows? By the way, which am I allowed to joke about? Is it race or is it gender? Which one Which one has the, has the proper hierarchical placement here? I know, the Lutheran trans quote-unquote bishop was recently fired for being racist. So that kind of gives us some sort of idea as to what the hierarchy is in modern-day society. Race is still above gender wars. We'll have to keep this straight, otherwise, you know, you wouldn't want to be fired, would you? If you liked that video enough to make it to the end of the video, which is like superhuman in terms of modern attention spans, please make sure to share this with your friends and family. I also have links in the description so you can follow me elsewhere and you can find other videos. Thanks.